In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can create your own profitable newsletter business. Now, this is a live case study. It is the first video in a series, but we are actually creating two, count them, two different live newsletters in two different, completely different niche markets, starting from zero, and we're gonna be growing these and turning them into profitable businesses while you watch. And today's episode is gonna be the first in this series. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire series. And we're gonna show you how you start, build, grow, scale it to be massive and generate a pile of profit. Now I know firsthand how profitable email newsletters are. In my businesses over the years, I've generated literally tens of millions of dollars. Now over the years I've been doing this, I've been lucky enough to build over a hundred million dollars in revenue through my various online businesses. And easily tens of millions of dollars of that revenue has come directly from email. So I know email is a powerful, powerful tool. And some people look at email as being something that's a little old school, you know, email's old, it's not a new thing, but it is still the number one marketing channel for businesses of all types. So not only am I successful with email, we know from case studies that others are highly successful as well. We've talked about, by the way, in the past on our channel, I've talked about a newsletter founder named Alex Lieberman. And he started a newsletter in his dorm room and that newsletter turned around and sold for $70 million just a few years later. So think about that. You start an email newsletter, it blows up in scales, and you sell it for tens of millions of dollars. That's a very real case study. We featured it on the channel, so you can go and browse through the channel, and, and, uh, I'll, and also I'll try to link to it in the description so that you can watch that case study and see just how profitable an email newsletter can be. We're gonna be taking everything I know about email newsletter marketing, along with some new strategies and new tactics, and I'm gonna show you how you can take a newsletter business model where you're putting out useful, helpful content to your subscribers and make a ton of profit. The newsletter business model is awesome because you can turn it into a self-sustaining growth engine. Now, what do I mean by that? It's like an engine that feeds on itself so that every time you get a subscriber, you make money. And you make enough money to reinvest back and buy ads. So you can set it up so that if you're spending a dollar to get a new subscriber, you're making a dollar fifty or two dollars or three dollars back for every new subscriber that comes in. And I'm going to show you how to do that on this special training series. So we use a platform called Beehive to run our email newsletters. And it's got a whole suite of tools that you really need. The unique business model that I'm gonna be teaching you, you really do need Beehive to pull it off. And I'm gonna share the screen and show you some examples of why in just a moment. And we've been using Beehive now ourselves for about a month to launch and scale the new newsletter. So we just started as an experiment well, just about four weeks ago, and we now have about 1,100 subscribers on our first email newsletter. And we're now starting our second email newsletter from zero subscribers. And I'm gonna show you how it has gone so far. But, um, but before I do that, I want to drop a quick link to Beehive. Um, if you'd like a 14 day free trial to Beehive, you wanna use our special affiliate link, support the channel. And if you become a subscriber there, we get a small commission. So to help support the channel, if you sign up for Beehive, make sure you use the link pushbutton.ai slash B14. That's B like the buck, B-E-E, -E, the number 14. So that's pushbutton.ai slash B14. And we'll pop that link in and down below in the description and in the chat and uh, so that you can um, sign up for Beehive there. I'm gonna be showing you a very specific Beehive tool that you will need to pull this off. And uh, that's where you go to get your 14 day free trial to Beehive. And we're gonna be using a feature called Boost, which I will go over with you um, in a moment. So um, in our own case study, let me actually pull up the screen. We've had some, uh, some trials and tribulations on getting this first newsletter launched and started. So let me, uh, let me show the screen and we'll go over it. So this is our first newsletter, which um, 
we call ingeniosity. And so it's all about modern entrepreneurship. And so it's entrepreneurship and AI and, and uh, making money using modern marketing, okay? And so you can see here, we're, uh, we have um, a little over a thousand active subscribers. This is a, a brand new list. Um, and you can see the, the growth here. Um, and uh, we're, we're getting the, the open rates on our emails. You can see the average across the board is just about 30%. I mean, you can see our click-through rates there. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, just in the beginning. So um, we've now figured out monetization and we know how to get money in the door and make this, we can actually grow our newsletter profitably. So I can invest money into growing the newsletter and I'm actually making profit while doing that. And I'm gonna be showing you um, how we do that um, in just a moment. Um, and so as an example, we can come over here under boosts. So here's an example. At this point, we've got about $880 in total earnings. You can see here our pending in total. You add those together. Um, we've got about $880 that we have made. Um, and that's it's, uh, spread out over ab about 480 subscribers. So almost $2 a subscriber in earnings coming in uh, from this experiment. It's pretty cool. And so that's the current one. Now we started, um, we're, we're literally starting today, the second newsletter. So that's the first newsletter. And we've now got it to a thousand subscribers. And you saw there it's generated about $880 in revenue. And I'm gonna be rolling out and teaching you how we got the traffic. I'll show you how we got our subscribers. Um, I'll show you what, some places I'm paying for traffic and some ways I'm getting free traffic. We're gonna detail all of it in this case study. But before anything, you have to pick the right niche. So if this sounds like something that you could do, or if you could actually create a weekly newsletter where you just email your subscribers well, once a week, and you can email them more. The more you email them, the more you can make. But if you're willing to send content to a subscriber list every week, and you can generate it with AI, which I'll show you how to do uh, during this training, if that sounds like something that you'd wanna do, then you just need to follow seven steps. So there are seven steps through this entire thing. First up, number one, you wanna pick your niche market. You need to decide who it is you're going to serve and what is your newsletter going to be about. And on today's training, I'm gonna show you exactly how to pick your niche market. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up your email software. Now I recommend Beehive and again, go to pushbutton.ai slash B14. That's pushbutton.ai slash B, B, E, E, like the bumblebee, 14, the number one, four. And you will get a 14 day free trial through the Beehive platform. So that's your email software, step two. Step three, create a landing page, which Beehive can help you do. So the Beehive software will build your landing page for you. Step four, you start testing traffic strategies, which I'm gonna be teaching you in the next upcoming lessons in this series, how to get traffic for your email newsletter. Then you monetize it. You learn how to get money in the door from your new subscribers, you optimize, and then you scale. And that's the process. So right now we are at stage five of this newsletter. So we're still uh, monetizing. We're still, still not done uh, monetizing. And then we're gonna begin to scale and grow the newsletter and make it big, okay? So today's video, I'm gonna be going over step number one about how to pick your email newsletter niche. There's several things to consider when you select your niche. And not several, there's actually three things to consider when you pick your niche. And I would like to break it down. I'm gonna tell you the, the, the first things to look at and then I'll break these down. So number one, it's the thing that everybody stresses out about, but is actually not the most important thing. And that is, are you an expert in the niche? So are you an expert in the topic that you wanna make your email newsletter about? Because you don't have to be. If you are, great, then you can write as an authority and you can create content from you with your knowledge and your authority, but you do not have to be. As long as you are curious about the market that you are gonna go into, that is enough. You can actually create an email newsletter where you go on a journey together with your audience, learning about the niche that you're going into. You can talk about your experience as you learn about a brand new niche that you know nothing about. As long as you're curious about it and you can be interested enough to stick with it and learn all about the niche, and you just share your journey with the audience. 
and then you will attract a beginner's audience to join your list and go through the journey with you. So you do not need to be a guru or an expert or something like that in order to pull this off. The other thing is if you're curious and you're interested enough, you can do what's called the curation model so that you can go out and collect information that you're just gonna reshare. You know, think like Oprah, right? Oprah has a, had the talk show back in the day. She wasn't an expert in anything. All she did is bring the guests by and use their content to provide value to the audience. So you could do the same thing. As long as you're interested in or curious about your niche market, you can collect up content in a variety of ways and you can even use AI to write some of the content for you, um, which we'll cover in a future episode. Uh, but that is the first, the first thing I want to go over is that you do not need to be an expert. You don't need to be a guru or an expert to have an email newsletter business. But you do want to consider those things. You need to at least be curious or interested in the topic or the niche that you're going to cover. The next thing you're going to want to look at when you're deciding your niche market is monetization potential. So how much money can you actually make in the niche market? I'll show you in just a minute a couple of tools something you can do inside of Beehive to learn if your business is monetizable, okay? And then the final one is, can you get traffic for the niche you wanna go into? And then I'll talk about that and explain how that works as well, okay? The other thing that you wanna think of is that you could partner with somebody. You could be the business and marketing side and partner with somebody who is an expert in that niche market. That is an entirely different strategy. But if you wanna do it all yourself, you can also just find something, find a topic or a market that you could be curious about. It's kind of cool to have partners. Sometimes partnerships can work out really well because they can do what they do really well and you can focus on the marketing and the business building side of the business while they'll deal with all of the content. Um, and then it's something that you guys can go on a journey together with. So uh, starting off your email, your newsletter selection, you're gonna to wanna to do this, just make a list. Just whether you wanna put it in notepad, on a piece of paper, you wanna put it in a spreadsheet, whatever is the best tool for you, make a list. What are topics that you're interested in? Or topics that maybe you're an expert in? That is what you start with. You make your list of the topics that you're at least curious or interested in, or topics that you are an expert in, if you are, make that list. Okay. And then again, if you're not an expert, who do you know that might team up with you to help you help be the expert to help with the content? At this point, you can um, uh, make that list. Then we're going to move on to the next part of selecting your niche, which is trying to figure out if um, can you make money with the niche market? Because it's great to get into a niche that you're passionate about. So if you're covering a topic or a niche that you're super passionate about, that's awesome because it means you're gonna stick with it and you're gonna go long-term with your new business. But if you can't make money with it, then yeah, then it's like, why put in all that effort? So why even start a business if you're doomed to never be able to make money with it? And so um, I'm gonna pull up and show you a couple of ways you can figure out if your niche market is monetizable. One of the things that we are doing is we are using Beehive's Boost program, as you can see here, um, as a way to monetize. And so what does that mean? So this means that when someone subscribes to your email newsletter, you're gonna be offered a chance to join other newsletters. It's almost like a referral or affiliate program, kind of, okay? So when someone opts in, they subscribe to your email newsletter, the very next page it's gonna say, hey, here are three or four other newsletters. Would you like to subscribe to any of them? And if you click the box to subscribe, this is also known as co-registration. So if you check the box and subscribe, you will also join those other lists. And if your subscribers do that, you get paid. So let's say you run an ad and you spend a dollar to get someone to come and subscribe to your email newsletter. They're then presented with the boosts. And it says, hey, well, now that you've subscribed to this newsletter, would you like to try newsletter A, B, and C? And if the user ticks the box and subscribes, you get paid. So what we're developing and what we're working on in, in our case study is a way to at least break even so that the newsletter will grow itself. So if I spend a dollar to get a subscriber and I get $2 back, I can now spend that $2 to get two more subscribers. Those two subscribers turn into four. I then take those, that money and reinvest it and my subscriber base keeps doubling over time. 
because I keep taking the money that I make, I reinvest it into getting traffic and getting subscribers, and I keep growing it. And the newsletter gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and it can fund itself by using boosts. And so there are two places to look um, for boosts. And I'm gonna show you the first place, which is right inside of Beehive. So by the way, to do this, you will need your Beehive account. So make sure that you go to pushbutton.ai slash B-E-E 14. That's B like the bumblebee, the number one four, and get your Beehive account. And so you can come in here and you can look at boosts. What we wanna do is wanna click this button up at the top. See here where it says explore offers? We're gonna click that. And now here are all the boosts that people will pay us. So like here, here's a one called Little Guy Finance. So Little Guy Finance will pay us $4 per subscriber. For every subscriber we get to their newsletter for them, we get paid $4. Here's one here, another $4, $3.20. Um, and you'll notice they're on a lot of different topics, right? So we have all these different topics. So we can also search. The search feature is not that great. So I'm gonna type in crypto, because I know that's a popular niche markup. And they're all these are all crypto related newsletters. You can see here, $2 a subscriber, $1.61, $1.50, $1.69, we can load more. So this is how you come in and monetize right out of the gate, okay? Now, there is one other place, and let me see if I can get logged in there. So the next tool we're gonna use is called Spark Loop, and uh, I will share the screen and um, we'll get going. So, and also we have an affiliate link for this. So if you wanna try Spark Loop, they, um, I think it's free to get started. It um, doesn't cost anything to get started. Uh, we have a, a special link for that. And uh, I'll pop it in there. Pushbutton.ai slash Sparkloop. And that's our affiliate link. And if you do end up using them, we end up making a small commission. So to support the channel, use that affiliate link. And that's pushbutton.ai slash Sparkloop. But here, Sparkloop has the same thing. You can come in and find out are people paying for boosts? And you can see these are the same thing. So it is actually under their partner network up here at the top. Okay. You can see we just signed up today. Our application is being reviewed. Okay. But we can come in here and take a look at the partner network while we're waiting to be approved. And uh, this is what you want to look at to see are there other newsletters that you can use to monetize? Again, here's $2 a subscriber, $1.50, $2. Um, and so here you can see a couple we've applied to, um, and, uh, yeah. And by looking this over and you can do searches. So here we can do the same thing. Let's type in crypto, just, uh, if we were going to do that in market. Um, and so here we go. So here's a crypto one with a dollar 65, dollar 30, dollar 75. Here's $2. Um, so yeah, and there's a variety of markets that you can look at. There's also health. Um, and at the end, I'll go over a couple. I think we have five or six profitable niche markets that I can share with you that we've already researched. I'll share that with you at the end. But um, health is another one that's a decent one. Uh, personal development, success, those are also good ones. But it's by looking at these two, as you can tell if you can uh, get boosts to monetize your email newsletters. The other thing you wanna look for is whether or not there are affiliate programs in your niche market. And to do that, it's actually quite simple. Just go to Google, good old Google, and you type in the name of your niche. You might be like crypto, I'll keep using that example. Crypto affiliate programs. You just search Google and you start doing some good old fashioned research. And so are there good affiliate programs, meaning that they pay a high commission? You don't want affiliate programs that are gonna pay you like 5% or 10%. You want affiliate programs that are gonna pay you a sizable commission for referring business to them. And you can make money with affiliate offers with your email newsletter list, simply by sending and emailing out your affiliate link. And when people buy, you get paid a commission, right? That's how affiliate marketing works. You get a special link, you send it out to your newsletter. If anybody clicks it and then buys, you get paid a commission. And so again, go to Google, type in the name of the keywords related to your niche, and just say, you know, keyword affiliate program. 
And um, I can show you that. Let me just pull, I'll pull Google up and give you an example. Let's go over to Google and I can say, crypto affiliate, there we go, crypto affiliate programs. And here we go. Here's a um, here's an article that gives us 11 of them. So that's a good sign. So we can keep looking here. Here's 12 in this one. So we can see there are plenty of them, right? So we can tell from this Google search that crypto has plenty of affiliate offers. Okay. And so you might come in here and it could be, you know, well, I don't know. Let's say you're going to do dieting, right? I've been diet affiliate programs you now, or you're doing the, the keto diet affiliate programs. Okay. And you just spend a little time clicking and researching and looking to see, are there good affiliate programs in this niche? So, and there's a bunch of them. So that's the other thing to look for. And when you've identified that you have people that where you can get paid for boosting other newsletters, right? To help other newsletters get subscribers. And there are good affiliate programs in your niche. Then you've got the perfect niche market. Okay. So that's really, really important because if you can't make money in the market, it's hard to run a business if there's no money to be had, right? Unless you're doing it for charity, um, you need to make sure that you're confident that you can make money with the markets that you go into. So you'll take your list that you made in step one, where you made your list of topics that either you're an expert in or that you're interested in, or that you've got a partner who can be an expert in. You take that list and you check each one to see if how monetizable they are, how much uh, how many uh, boosts and sponsorships and affiliate offers can you get uh, for that niche market? And then that can help you eliminate right off the list. Like if, if you find one of your things doesn't have affiliate programs, take it off the list and narrow it down until you pick the one that you can really go for. And the final factor on choosing your niche market is traffic because some niches are easier than others to get traffic. So um, let's take, for example, I mean, if you're doing anything that's kind of edgy or adult oriented, you're not going to be able to get ads on Facebook or Google or any of the major platforms as an example, right? Or let's say, um, I mean, there's a few markets that are that way that, um, that Facebook and Google and other places um, just won't accept. So you have to be thinking about that when you're choosing your niche market too. So I know like a lot of people get really excited about like, marijuana, medical marijuana, or CBD oils, or things like this, where maybe they're great business models for a variety of reasons, but you're gonna have a hard time getting traffic because you can't run ads anywhere. And, and even getting free traffic can be challenging in some of those niches. So that's the other thing to be thinking about when you're making that choice. Um, usually the more broad public and the more the more just general interest there is in your topic, the easier it's going to be for you to be able to, you know, buy traffic. Uh, because at the end of the day, we want to be able to buy traffic and then we turn that, you know, your, every dollar we buy in traffic, we want to turn it into a dollar or more so that we can keep growing our newsletter. Okay? And then once our newsletter gets big enough, we can now do sponsorship deals. And that's where the big money comes in. So if your newsletter is big and you've got 10,000, 20,000 subscribers, you can get very large sponsorship deals. And that's when the money starts to rain in. Okay? So that's our ultimate goal. But now you know what you need to do to select your niche market. Now, again, we have two tools that you're gonna wanna jump in because once you pick your niche market, you need to set up your email tools and you need to get access to these tools to do your research anyway. So you should use those two services, use our affiliate links. Again, we'll get paid a small commission if you do. It's a great way to help support the channel and help us grow this channel here. And those two links again are pushbutton.ai slash B14. That's B like the bug. And that gets you a 14 day free trial at Beehive. And then the other one is pushbutton.ai slash spark loop. And those are the two tools that I showed you on the screen. Um, those will uh, get you access to them so you can investigate how easy it is to monetize. And then once you're launched, you will use both of those services to run and monetize your new email newsletter business. Two things I want to cover. Um, the first one is um, uh, 
you want to use an affiliate search engine. So there's some search engines you can use besides Google. I forgot to cover this. So besides using Google, you can also use a tool called OfferVault. So at OfferVault.com, you can go there to search for affiliate programs in your niche market. And it's just a quick, simple search. So we could just say, you know, we'll do the same thing. We'll go crypto and we'll do a search. And there we go all the affiliate offers in crypto. So there's quite a lot of them, 1,624 different offers. Um, and so you could pay attention to this. Um, and then let's try diet as an example. Um, so same thing, 672 of those. Um, and then if we go specifically to keto, let's try keto. Oh, there's a bunch of keto offers, 400 of those. So this is a, a very useful tool to investigate affiliate offers. And again, it's called OfferVault, OfferVault.com. So that's the second way to research affiliate offers. And then the final thing I wanna cover on this segment is, you know, we've been doing a little bit of research for selecting our own niche markets. Um, and we have a list of our top markets that we know are monetizable and able to get traffic. Starting with crypto is one that I know is a lot of interest in. So it's a lot of interest. It's something that you can get traffic for. It's something that you can easily monetize. There are lots of affiliate offers, lots of boosts in that market. Um, and so that is uh, uh, our number one. Number two is technology news. So these are things like AI tools or new technology, software programs, uh, business tools, but basically tech news or AI tools. That's another one that would be our number two. Number three is investing. So this could cover a broad range of just general investing. So whether it's stocks, um, uh, real estate, the, the broad topic of investing um, is covered there. Then four is health. So health is also a big broad niche, but the more general you make the newsletter, the easier you're going to find it. You can you know, promote a variety of different topics. So if you're covering like alternative health, or natural health, or, or all kinds of different little sub niches in that market. And then number five, we have personal development and productivity. So this is uh, how to improve yourself, um, how to be productive, um, how to manage yourself, all these kinds of things. That's another one. So really good niche market. And then a, a surprising one is travel. So travel is also a, a pretty good niche market. Um, and uh, that is rounding us out at number six. So there's six examples of markets that you can get traffic that are monetizable. And by no means is that all. Those are just the top six from some quick research. There are many, many, many more markets that you can build an email newsletter empire in. And those are just six I wanted to share with you as examples. And so next up on your journey is to go register at Sparkloop. Again, push button AI slash Sparkloop and at Beehive. Uh, that is push button.ai slash B14, B-E-E, -E, like the bug, number one four. Um, and uh, go sign up to those, follow the training I gave you today. And then in the next episode, I'm gonna show you all about how to set up your email. I'll show you how to set up the email newsletter system and then get started on your journey to building your profitable email newsletter business. I can't wait to see what niche market you choose. Tell me all about it. Tell me in the comments, by the way, what niche market would you be interested in building a newsletter business for? We'll see you in the next episode. So for those of you who are not yet a Push Button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Pushbutton AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top, everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30-day email sequence that it writes. You can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI, and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page 
to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you. And it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done. And all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there you'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works outline your new course for you and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.